Age, not pain or swelling, is the main factor when it comes to getting a knee replacement. Doctors say because the artificial joints wear out in about 10 to 15 years, they have to be replaced, so getting one too young can lead to a more painful procedure later in life. But now there's a new way to get relief without surgery. KB's Jim Bergamo shows us how stem cells are making it happen. This is 48-year-old Laura Hall at her absolute physically fit best, running half marathons. Hard to believe this was her just five years earlier. She's the one on the right, the one who weighed 300 pounds. At 300 pounds, it was hard to get around. I absolutely had a negative self-image. Um, tried to cover myself up as much as possible. After Weight Watchers and plenty of determination on a treadmill, Hall shed nearly half her body weight. But suddenly, she started experiencing excruciating pain in her knees. It was bone on bone. It was um, just the ability to, I couldn't even walk. No longer able to run, Hall started to see the pounds resurface. After working so hard to shed her unwanted weight, she couldn't bear the thought of gaining it all back. I came to Dr. Welsh um, in tears. I stood in this room, this very room, and I cried to him and said, I have got to do something. She's almost bone on bone in that location. Dr. Scott Welsh, a surgeon with Central Texas Orthopedics, says many might assume knee replacement would be the best medical option for Hall. But Welsh says she and others in their 40s, 50s, and even 60s may be too young for that procedure. Knee replacements typically last about 15 to 20 years on average. So if you're somebody in your in your 40s or 50s that has to have a knee replacement, uh, and that's your only option, then uh, you're having a big revision surgery when you're in your 60s or 70s when your health may be starting to, to fail. So what to do? Welsh recommended a far less invasive procedure called stem cell knee injection. Welsh takes stem cells from the patient's own body, generally found in the pelvis. Those stem cells are removed with a syringe and placed into a centrifuge where they're spun and mixed together for 15 minutes. Welsh then injects the stem cells into the knee. There was absolutely no um, pain involved with taking the stem cells out of my hip and putting them into my knee. The benefit is that we can postpone that knee replacement surgery uh, hopefully for, for many years if we can truly regenerate cartilage. I know that it's working because I'm already exercising. I am so excited about uh, feeling healthy again. The FDA approved procedure takes only a couple of hours and patients go home the same day. Most are cleared to resume their normal exercise regimen in a week or two. A stark contrast to the lengthy recovery knee replacement surgery requires. If you'd like more information, check out the link at the end of this story on KVU.com. Jim Bergamo, KVU News Nightbeat.